Hello, people of Earth. It's your pal, the Orbital Outcast, Rad Gnarly, coming your way with another low-key broadcast. Today, we are setting sail for high adventure as we hunt down some sky pirates in Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. But first, I'd like to say hello to everyone in chat or checking us out on VOD. No matter who, what, where, when, why, or how you happen to be in this great big old world of ours, we're happy to have you with us. We hope the day finds you well. All right, let me, uh, let me get my sail from front of my sail, so to speak. Is that projector tape? Doof. There we go. We need to head toward that star, obviously, on our mini-map, but let's take an expanded look at our world map. Oh, I see. We are on exactly the wrong coast. Uh, let's go... Oh, that looks spooky over there. I think we talked about that. Uh, let's go left and around, I guess. I think we've been in most of these places by now. I'm sure there's new developments to be had throughout the world. But, it was fun. Pooping and scooping about the continents now. Hello! We can fast travel, and... By the... By the I don't by the luck of the whatever, uh, I somehow remembered uh, where I parked the boat, so I uh, positioned myself there in the countdown. Make sure I can start, if not going exactly the right way, at least having the vehicle to get there the fastest. I wonder if it'll let us through here. I'm willing to risk it. This seems uh, this seems doable. It doesn't seem too shallow. I can tell by the water that I'm sticking for the deep parts. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, what treasures awaits? There's got to be something fun here. Hmm. Let's check them out. What sort of creatures? Hello. We've come to uh, not make friends at all. Oh wow, they come right toward me. What level are you guys? Hey! We're under attack. They all look familiar. Uh, oh, I have evolved. I wonder if that counts, because I've evolved one of them. I still need one more of those to uh, help my help my boy there uh, expand his animal research. Okay. Uh, go get him, Shiny Mite. Let's see if we can do a little rake on it. Oh, not to be outdone. Have it wrong, though. Whoa! Guys! It's over. It's over. Wait, is this a heal? Oh, poison. Um, I think we already have a regular one, too, so I don't really need to worry about it. But they are going ham skis. Uh, is there a way I can. Okay, that's not a lot. You, you've me. used a ton. What are you doing? What's your, uh, what's your tactic here? Give it your all. Ah, okay, that's probably why. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Not do what you like. Provide backup. Yeah, let's just try that. I will give it my all. Like, or, or when I'm not under control of Oliver, I'll do that. Esther, keep us healthy. I can, she's got the healing uh, familiars. Provide backup sounds fine. Going out loud, I don't want you to uh, spend too long. We won! Oh, help Flying all the way across the battlefield. Okay. How many iterations? I was thinking about this today, just with uh, a lot of new games and stuff being announced and coming out and whatnot. How many iterations of the Nino Kuni games do you think we are away until they can do one that's essentially like the new trend of let's just make a game like Breath of the Wild? Because again, not not a bad idea. But uh, how long do you think before we can get one of those where you can just run around a whole Nino Kuni world? Doing Nino Kuni things in real Nino Kuni time. Alright, so on. not really all that, like. Okay, I thought there might be, like, something fun that would show up. Dragon! And they're done. We've won! Ta 
We are finally able, uh, able to level up Flutter, too, so that can be way more useful. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, let's just, let me get back in the boat first, and I just want to double check my familiar configuration. Make sure we're doing the most work. Hey, SSD Ninja, nice to see you, bud. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for, thanks for choosing to spend at least part of your afternoon with us here. We are puttering about. Yes, sir. I don't quite like it. I just feel better even just loading this thing up. How delightful! I was just uh, I was just positing out there into the ether. Uh, how lo how many iterations do you think before they'll just do like a Breath of the Wild clone Nino Kuni game? And just let you sort of soak up the world in real time. Not that I m mind the present the traditional presentation of overworld and then smaller map and blah blah blah. But every time the battle starts, I'm just like, I just want an open world version of this, where like I have like an independent familiar and I'm doing stuff during the battle at the same time. Whoa! I don't think I've been there yet. That certainly looks spooky. Or maybe I have. Eh, I feel like I would have remembered, but I could be lying to myself about so many things. That or a mobile gacha? Listen, I wouldn't mind. Well, what's that, uh, what's that one there that, uh, that's popular? Genshin Impact. That's ostensibly like a largely a Breath of the Wild clone, so yeah, yeah, that wouldn't bother me at all. If you wanted to gacha the familiars a little bit, yes, that, uh, that would be acceptable to me. Just to have it happen. Ooh. Spooky skull. Look at this. Look at the plant with a particularly uh, vicious leaf or petal. I didn't finish cataloging the robotic folks, though. Oh, no. The side quests. Um. Can I go around to some other part of the same island? And maybe get a feel for it over here? I like that the sea monsters are even afraid of me. A boo! Okay, I can bring it down over here, maybe. It's just another bunch of undead folk. Hmm. Not nearly as fun, I don't think. Also, not exactly where we need to go. Run away. Yeah, that's right. You better be scared. Oh, giant volcano. That seems like something I need to do later. Is that the back? Is that the butt end of Old Smoky? It is. Okay, so we definitely already conquered that. This is, uh, unique. What do we got over here? Hi, just cruising by. See if we maybe, we maybe need to stop. That's a weird spider. I think we've fought one of those before. I mean, that's the reason enough sometimes. Thread the needle! Yeah, look at us go. Advanced ship steering maneuvers. Ready for ship to ship combat. Not even a little bit. Okay. What about nestled in this? Nestle me! Nestle me! It won't. I cannot be nestled. Alright. Let's be no nestle zone. Whoop! Wait a minute. Is that one of those cogged fellows? If you are a cogged feller, I do need to capture one of those. Yay! Okay. I'm sold. Let's get on this island. Whee! Provided we can get up to that rocky ridge. Okay. Let's finally go where we're supposed to. Take a big wide turn at it. Just jam ourselves up on that shore. Yeah! Boink. Oops. I'm gonna give that a quick save-a-doodle. Just because I'm terrible at orienteering in games. And even with a compass. At least I'm on the correct island at the moment. Ha! I mean, I know you're going to run away. They're all going to run away. We are incredibly intimidating. For a set of small children. It might just be the stench of the, uh, the former thief. The outcast prince. Oh, look at all these! Oh, wow. Look at this military might. This is cute. Can I capture these flags? 
Defend yourself. Stand and deliver. Ah, oh, so cute. A spituligans and a cut purse. Right. Um, I am my greatest threat by far. So let me just bonk them. I don't even have any, like, I don't even have any uh, high-level spells that are, like, attack everything. I can do single damage, single enemy, single, single, single. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Hang on. I'm gonna back out of this because we can capture one of these uh, spatuligans already, and I would like one. Esther, leave it for me. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Awesome. I just watched the cut first go down. We came to Spatool again. He 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 he. Oh, dude. Bringing up the dragon last second. He does go all out. Until I get the reins back. Ding, ding, doom. Way to go, Kago. Absolutely. Spencer. I mean, normally it's like a weird punny name or something like that, but just Spencer. Is, it just sounds nice. Hello, Spencer. My Spatooligan. Great name. Couldn't not. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to... Yes. They're so cute. I don't know if, if like, stats matter to a certain point. Of, like, oh, they need to, you know, if you don't have these ones equipped, you're not min-maxing your familiar potential. But I just like silliest and or cutest. I mean, I'm keeping the golden ones in the rotation, for Stay sure. But we'll see if I can find some more fun-looking friends. Like, even Major Bird. Hehe. <laughs> It's a fun looking bird. Soldier Bumbler. Okay, so we're getting more advanced bumblers. We're not stumblers anymore. Here goes. Uh, uh, Sky Pirate away! I'm focusing on the big one. Wait. No, 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 no! No, 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 don't! Cancel! Cancel! This, 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 this. Hurry before they destroy it. Oh, jeez. I hope that canceled it for everybody. No all out attack. Stop. Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. Jesus. That's like boss fight tactics. Rain it in, guys. That was just a random encounter. Getting a little trigger happy. Swain quite literally. Okay, Kago. Yes. I just wanted to save that major bird. Feathers? No problem. There's no uh, room for sergeant feathers, but that's okay. Because if you get a lonely parts of the fan later or something, maybe. My major bird is Feathers. Major bird, one of my favorite 80s sitcoms. Go, 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 go! Oh, he managed to escape. Got far enough away. I just, I'm happy to explore a little bit. Can I get up on that ridge? Where did I see those other things that I actually want to fight? <laughs> uh oh. I must be able to get there. Look for rocky parts. Well, this is clearly... <laughs> Alright, that clearly leads there. Maybe I get a sky ship at the end of this, since I'm facing a, a ter uh, technically a sky pirate, and I'm just meant to land on the upper regions of some of these islands, because I don't see direct paths to, like, any of them. Maybe that's sort of uh, to let you replay the map a little bit by having you go back once you can fly. <laughs> Oh yeah, most of the music Let's in this. Go. Like, the production in this is is top freaking notch. I think they'd crush it even if it was a gotcha, uh, gotcha Breath of the Wild clone. You don't think they'd be able to rake it in with the hundreds of these little critters that you'd be able to collect and level up and run around within the world? It'd be like you and one at a time, right? Or just uh, Here or like this one, you like yeah, like you and one at a time. And they would be set to like auto attack or whatever, and then you'd run around doing your live action skills. Break it in hand over this. These guys are tough. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have a big horn? Are you ready? Do I have one I do now. Thought I saw hearts. I'll save whatever until I can figure out if I have it or not. And then I'll release the, one of them back into the wild, no problem. Ooh, a star drop! Two of them! Nice! 
Slugger. So it's, uh, oh, so that's like a, oh, those are her hooves. Okay, so it's got like front, I thought it was like bone protrusions, but if you look more at the sort of the design now and the, the, the sort of at the bottom of it too, I, I get more of a hoof vibe. Okay, and that's what they punch people with. That makes sense. Yes. Welcome aboard, Slugger. We'll see if we have an identical Slugger somewhere else. I mean, we're heading straight for the pirates, right? Try to stop us. Cut purse. And the Godfather. We can do this. We got a major bird already. Don't have the other two. We'll see what happens. I like to keep it simple. Shiny Mike, do your thing. Keep an eye out for everyone's stats and thank you. And for uh, hearts over the head. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, I forgot it. It doesn't just target. How dare you? That did it. What can I say? It's a gift. That did it. Who are you? Level, level, level. Delightful. Now, uh. Wow. Peeps. Your manliness. Toast. Okay. Um. Whoa, look at these friends. Tee hee hee. Alright, Ninja, enjoy your meeting as much as you can. You shoot that lurk while you work. Uh. Jeepers. This is so tempting because I have some of these now. Like these uh, moonstones. That one's as high as it can go, so is that, so is that. So is this. This, I think, can go one more. So can this, but they need, like, the major one. That guy's done. This one can go up one more. Yeah. <laughs> Maru. I'm gonna try to level this guy up because I think he's gonna hatch into something interesting. And I absolutely want to level up Spencer. Look at this ding dong. Um. Yeah, you're pretty much covered with these two. We're gonna go. We're gonna bench Goldie for now. Okay, and then feathers we'll probably end up just putting away. Not just for now, because ever you share XP with everybody in your in your active crew, so. Hello! Gotcha. You bumbly soldier. Oh, three, a whole platoon. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna laser blast you. Here goes! Ray gun! All three of y'all. We've won! There it is. Whoa, five levels just like that. Good for you. Good work, Roland. Welcome to the squad, bud. I'm gonna cut first. What you got? Okay, definitely have Come a big on, horn. Guys. Don't have the other two. Here goes! Ready? Oof. Punch. Punch. Kapow. Okay, grab all that. Better luck next time! Spencer. Okay, lady. Um, I can only change tactics in a battle, I think, unfortunately. Yeah. This is great. Let's go ahead and put on the Guiding Star, etc., etc. Good. What could these possibly be? I don't particularly like going in there. Without my friends having their mana. Fully restores. Um... Sure, as an ingredient. Only ten, huh? Oh, how about a cappuccino? There you go. Uh, one for you. 
and then a couple cups of coffee. Let's keep, let's keep you pepped. There. That's more like it. Skull Mountain. I wonder why they named it that. You never know these days. Must have been, like, discovered by a Jonathan Skull or something. Alright. Now I've had to mute the microphone to cough, like, uh, four times now. Right? So I'm feeling a little under the weather. So expect about a two-hour stream today. That's all to say. Whoop. Look, everyone, it's enormous in here. Enormous, they say. And my goodness... What is it, money? My goodness. Oh, that's cool. Let's steal that. Neato, it's a huge ship. Yeah, see? Ollie's got the right idea. Let's take this. This is ours now. A ship? This is a pretty flippin' weird one. I mean, it's made out of metal for a start. and hasn't even got a sail. Well, it's clearly like a, a dirigible, like a zeppelin or something. Climb aboard that airship. Let's sail into the sky. No, it hasn't. So how does it move? engines. It uses his engines, of course. Hang on, you lot don't know what it is, do you? It's a flying ship. They call them airships. This is an airship. Then does that mean that there's a ground ship somewhere? Shut up, Oliver. Yep, I reckon it does. We found the King of the Sky Pirates hideout. Oh, dope. I want it. I mean, we'll... I mean, the sail's cool as is. Looks like a panda skull wearing a hookah, uh, wearing a necklace. A shark tooth necklace. Or something. Um, so Kublai must be somewhere aboard. Hang on a second. This is the Sky Pirates hideout. What's all the flipping... Where's all the flipping Sky Pirates? We'd best be careful, you lot. Gee, I wonder how it flies. Do you think that he'll let us ride it? Look, obviously he's a Sky Pirate, so he's a bad guy, Oliver. Like, I feel like we can take his stuff, but let's not pal up to him. No time to be daydreaming about flying ships. There's no daydream. It's right in front of you, Esther. Oh, oh, sorry, you're right. We need to find the map of the stones, huh? Blimey, you're such a kid. Yeah, you are traveling with children, and they're way better attired. They take way better care of themselves than you, Swain. You drip. All right, sorry, what happened again? Only kidding. I know just how you feel. Well, let's concentrate on the stones for now, shall we? Let's sneak aboard and see what we can find. Like, lit, legit sneak tactic? Or too late for that? Oh. Proceed with caution. Where are the soldiers down here? Hello. Did you save spot? Ah. Oh, I didn't need to use any of those things. I should have figured it would have one at the front door. Oh well. Uh, let's put some peeps away. Hi. I'm gonna drop off. Feathers. See you later, feathers. I think that's it for now. Let's go back to... Let's go to retrieve and see if I have two of these big ones. No. Wait. <laughs> little big horn. And a big horn. I don't need the little big horn then, because it's a... No, this is another reason. I think. <laughs> Stands to reason, right? It grew up into a big horn. Alright. Peace out, Biggs. We have a version of you here. I'm okay with keeping the, the most evolved version of the thing and not all three stages. Okay, so I definitely had a Drongo. Go, go. Don't have any of these other fools. Um, okay. That's good for now. Hello! Treasure? Treasure anyone? False positives. How dare you? Alright, do I have to legit sneak? Not really good at that. I can run around real loud, though. Uh, that'll be later when I can knock that gate down or something. And bust through there. T, uh, TBC. Go aboard the ship. We've done it. We've snuck aboard. Esther, now is not the time to be wowed by the ship. Focus. See? 
Doesn't feel very good, does it, Esther? Doesn't feel very good at all. Hard to believe that something so huge can actually fly. Boy, you lot, don't you think we're getting a bit too close a bit too easily? This is what usually happens before an ambush. Who have asked who goes there? Yarr! A flippin' ambush. Oh no! So you filthy thieves are here to plunder or plunder, eh? Well, not today, not today, or any der. I take a look in the mirror before calling someone a filthy thief, my friend. Well, listen. Uh, again, he is better attired than you are, you scumbum. Like I thought, the reveal of Swain as a prince would at least get him to change his clothes, brush his hair, take a shower. Don't make them angry, Swain. They're bloodthirsty sky pirates. If you knew that girl, why would you risk your pretty neck trying to sneak aboard? The pirate voice really tore up my throat, so that's what you get. You're either mighty brave or mighty stupid. What is this, like a... Uh... Wait! One of them's in red and one of them's in green. Are these like the Mario and Luigi of the Sky Pirates? Knickers. We're flipping trapped. Trapped, I tell you. Well, if it's two of them, we can fight our way out. We have company, I see. Oh. Oh, Captain, Captain Snakehead. <laughs> Captain Slitherbeard. Oh, Kublai, that's right. Yar, Slitherbeard. That's him, isn't it? Crikey, look at the face of him. There's gruesome. Jesus, Trippy. We came here to speak with you. That's right, we have a favor to ask, Captain Kublai, sir. Grr, har, 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 har. You stroll uninvited into my mountain stronghold, hoping to be granted a favor. Yar. I can do it a little bit, maybe. What horror are you? Would be heroes come to take back your plundered treasures? Gar har 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 har. By the skies. Boy, I'll hear ye out. Come aboard. More coughing. Okay, that's quite the tale, lad. Aye, tis true that I plunder that map and I'd do it again. That lily-livered fop of a prince had it coming to him. Don't talk about Marcuson like that. Not now, Esther. We need those magic stones. Yes, we do. We need them to help us defeat Shadar. By the skies, Shadar! You mean to cross swords with a dark djinn? I sure do. That we do. We just gotta stop him before he breaks the hearts of everyone in our world. In it. Yeah, yours included. Gar, har, 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 har. You come aboard my ship and dare to compare me to the sniveling wretches who fall prey to Shadar? Let him try and break me. I'll show the scurvy dog what it means to face a true adversary. Well, I'll say this for him. He's not lacking for confidence. Shadar ain't to be sniffed at. There's none knows that better than I, fairy. So if you're looking to take on Shadar, you'll be possessed of the skills to do so, I take it. Let's test ye your metal. Aye, of course ye are. So this will be child's play for heroes such as yourselves. Uh, what, what, Will? Don't fret, lad. It's just a little test of your swashbuckling skills. Aha, I knew it would be buckling swashes today. All in a day's work for a hard, or a battle-hardened warrior such as yourself, a Grahar. Huh? I said Grahar. Gentlemen, ladies, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. Oh, come on now! <gasps> right, what the? Is that what? Hey! Can you heat up the air for the uh, the ship. The Scarlet Sentinel, the Red Dragon. Yikes! Immediate dragon fight. I mean, yes, please, but okay. Great dragon. It's pretty cute. Ha! How you doing? You're not gonna do anything until I select a person. Okay. I am me, and you are we, and I am going to uh, chill you as best I can. Dragon scales. Or maybe that's the thing that's killing me. Dragon scales! Frostbite. What if I just attack it? Really oh, I stunned it, maybe. Um, 
I wish I could cast the spell that uh, increased the gravity of something so it couldn't fly away. Sure, let's try uh, the light arrow. Spatwa! 146. I'm out of the way of that. Okay, what do we got? Let's try frostbite again. Got that. Scooch, 108. Not as good. Interesting. Give him that. Frosty. Yeah, let's try pulse. What do you do? 140. Not bad. There you go, there you go. Skin. 156 that time. Oof, got a real tickle in there today. Okay. I've never seen a dragon like this this big before, Mun. The flipping thing looks proper vicious. Or viscous. Could be real sticky. I can't get close. Uh, our only hope is poison, Ollie boy. Dragons hate the stuff. See, wait until its guard is down. Then have Swain shoot the blighter full of the rotten muck in it. I'm, we're doing fine, bud. Eat it. I'm not, I'm not beholden to your attacks. Watch this arrow blight. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I saw that his health bar was low. I'm like, yeah, my friend's got this. Whoa, what a superhero shot. Look at that. Yeah, you look you up at it. your tormentors. The last thing you see are the feet of this kiddo. He came in here and whooped your butt. Woohoo! Look at all that, too. Oh, way to go, Spencer. I know you can do it. Chicago. Roland, I just, I'm crossing my fingers on so, like, you hatch as an evolve. I don't just stay an egg. Oh. Down came the rain. And washed that spider out. Well, I mean, what does this do? What does it do? Powerful jet of water cuts through enemies dealing water damage. Yes, please. Uh, a friendly world in an ally's ear cures confusion. Uh, I don't think we get hit with stuff like that that often, so let's get rid of that. There you go. All offense all the time. I mean, except for the healthy glow and healing here. Spencer, you beautiful boy, you. Well, now there's not many face the old girl's breath and come away unsinged, lad. As I like dousing my cape. You're a plucky one. Oh, it took pluck to down a dragon on uh, a moment's notice. And no mistake. What? Why would you set her on us if you knew she was that dangerous? You... Yeah, man. What are you doing calling in a massive great big dragon all of a sudden like that? I mean, it'll be flipping wet myself. Silence, dogs. I'll ask the questions here. The wand. Where did you get it? What does it matter to you? We won't let you have it, no matter what you do to us. Drops two dragons. It matters to me, girl, because the accursed thing's not supposed to exist. The queen must hear of this. What queen? Never you mind, what queen? Now follow me. The map's aft in my cabin. Sure it's not four? It's not a four? All right. All right, Grumpy Guts. We're still the good guys, right? I only asked because the king of the Sky Pirates appears to like us. You're kidding, right? We met you as a petty thief. And again, change your clothes. We did it, Oliver. Let's go and look at the map. You're dressed like an NPC still, Swain. What are you worms waiting for? Move your cur scurvy carcasses. Excuse me, mine is just a curvy carcass. Wow, there's... The map of the stones. This here X marks where the stones must be hidden. Don't interrupt his big moment, Oliver! Jeez. A remote island. Makes sense, I suppose. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got a ship. Let's sit, sail and find them. Not that simple, says the King of the Sky Pirates. You need a sky ship. We can retrofit your ship. Let's do it, let's do it. Pipe down, girl. Do you think the boats of the, those seafaring simpletons could reach where even the mighty Iron Wyvern could not go? Dope. The Iron Wyvern. Drippy's like, huh? As per usual, does not understand. It's a sight more complicated than that. The Wyvern here is too large to land on Solitary Isle, and the seas around that rotten little rock are riddled, riddled with reefs. Here's the thing. Our ship's smaller. Make it a skyship. Do it. 
So we can't get to the stones? Don't start sniffling just yet, lad. There's a way there, all right. On the back of Tengri, Winged Dragon, and Master of the Skies. Also a good suggestion. We, I'm sure I will ride a dragon to that island. None flies faster or higher than the pride of my pack of wild worms. Wait. Yeah, how does your ship fly? Please don't tell me that dragons have to be harnessed and carry this thing like Santa's sleigh. There's impressive sounding. Come on, then. Where is this Tengri? Well, now, fairy, there's the rub. Tengri has been struck down with the dreaded Lurgy. Or the Lurgy. The Lurgy! I like that because it sounds funnier. <laughs> the dreaded Lurgy! And flies no longer. The Lurgy. You mean he's sick? Oh, I can relate. <clears throat> Nothing's ever easy, is it? Don't speak too soon. We have the mighty wizard Oliver on our side, after all. You mean to heal him? Well, Esther's our healer, but I could try. We can't promise anything, but it's worth a try, I reckon. If they're broken arted, we can do something there. Ollie boy, here's got a spell or two up his sleeve that might get our dragon, your dragon friend back on the wing. Yeah, we'll probably have to fight him, and then we'll try to heal him or something. Uh, yes, you must have something that will work, Oliver. Let's go and meet this dragon, shall we? Sure. Where can we be? Uh, where can we find Tengri, Captain Kublai? Oliver says, trying not to pee himself. No, no, the great lump will be cowering in a corner in the cave somewhere, feeling sore for himself. Oh, okay, so he needs an emotion of some sort, or he's brokenhearted. See what you can do. Come on, everyone, we have a dragon to save. I hope we can help him. You lot love nothing more than a charity case, do you? Yeah, that's why you're with us, Swain. Ding dong. Anyway, did you not figure that out? I'm gonna go save Queen. Oh, that's our friend we need to go talk to. Okay. We're going to save and then talk to that little purple dragon. As we suspected, that cave now means something. Thanks. The flightless dragon. Aw, oh, we got to get their mojo back. Flightless dragon. You must return to the skies. We will help. Look how cute you are. Ah, He's got a dog collar on. Limper. Crikey, the dragon looks like he'd lose a fight with a flymon. Not like the one we just fought. Proper feisty he was. Well, he is sick, Mr. Drippy. Also, he's cute. What's with you then, Tenny boy? Wing rod, is it? Touch of horn ache? Kya! Come on, we can't help you if you just stand there groaning like that. I guess he's trying to say something to us in, you know, dragon? You sure, Ollie boy? Well, if you say so, let's have a listen then. Oh, you mean... Yeah, use your thing. Use your spell. Uh... I have so many... Not bridge. Would it be bridging the gap between the two of us? No, make this tongue. Hello, Tangri. We wanted to talk to with you, if that's okay. Yeah, we heard you're a bit poorly. Tell us what's up. Maybe we can help. Tangri says, Look, he's scared, aren't you? Tangri, you poor thing. There, there. We won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. You want to fly again, don't you, Tangri? Why don't you tell us what's wrong? All right. Go on. I feel strange. There's a me who isn't me, another me, and he's sick, so I, I can't fly. Another Tengri? Do you think he means... Of course, he's got a soulmate over in Ollie's world. Okay. You mean back in Motorville? Mm-hmm. Tengri's a dragon, so in real life, they're a dog. We've seen people with animals for soulmates before. Timmy and King Tom. Yep, yep. Tengri's... And I reckon Tengri's super sensitive animal mind means he can tell what's going on with his soulmate over by here. There, sure. So yeah, give us somewhere to hone in on, and we'll go back to town and see if we can find them. And then I need to talk to that uh, skeleton with a mustache. What are you lot talking about? I don't understand a word you're saying. I really can't be bothered to explain it all to you now. I'll tell you afterwards. The other you is sick in his heart. Do you understand? In his heart? Yes, but don't worry. We're going to make him better. Better? So you'll be able to fly soon. Soon? Really? Yes, Tengri. Really. And when you can fly again... Immediately. Yeah, yeah. And once you, you can fly again, can you give us a lift somewhere? I, I, I guess. I'll, I'll let you. Sure. Great. Perfect. We will help. I promise. Wow, Esther. That was amazing. 
Good work. I got so used to the girl, I clean forgot she had such a way with animals. Suppose she is a, is a familiar keeper after all. Thanks, Drippy. Gotten so used to her, I had forgotten she existed, really. Okay, girl's not a familiar, silly. It's not much of a dragon, either. The massive wimp. Wait till he gets his confidence back. He's gonna smack you with his wing and send you sailing. Do you have two of your soulmate was sick? Or have you forgotten what it's like to be attacked? Wait, maybe he does have a soulmate that's a, that's a twerp. And we need to slap them around and we get back here and Swain's got his crap together. No. And I won't forget in a hurry, either. Hang about. And she never stepped in like that when we had to fight the flippin' red dragon. She was healing us. Says the guy who stands on the sidelines of every fight. He doesn't do anything but call out hints that I do or do not use. Didn't even need your hint. Defeated the dragon fine. Anyway. Let's go tell the captain. Or not. Okay. Let's let the captain know. Hey, we figured it out. Your uh, dragon is soul sick. But don't worry, we're gonna rip a hole in reality and go to another dimension and, and figure it out. You got that? I'm seven. I mean, I don't know. Probably like a ten-year-old. What's up? Did you discover what has made the, the mouse of my once mighty dragon? Yes, your attitude. Your constant bickering and chiding it. You've broken its heart. We got an idea, yeah? Grahaha! Then I suggest you find the cure, fairy. I shall look forward to. Please, that's not. We can't. It's not proper to call people that. I shall look forward to seeing it. Oh, and so you don't get yourself killed in the meantime. Have this. A jumbo sunbow! This one of the streets makes familiar is meta, meta, meta change? Metamorph. Metamorphosize. It's morphin' time. That it is, boy. I couldn't help but notice you using familiars when you were fighting. And what a scurvy bunch of scrags they were. Tis little wonder Old Red almost cooked you. Nope, I did great. Now, if but one of your familiars had eaten that drop I just gave you and reached the final stage of its development, you'd have beaten her easily. Did you not, did you not see the fight? I thought we did beat her easily. Yeah, I'm for the, for the first time, I'm on Drippy's side here. I mean, you hardly broke a sweat because you didn't do anything. The first part was accurate, though. Haven't finished yet. Each creature turns into one of two different types of the final stage. It's up to you to choose. Yeah, I know. I've been doing that the whole time. Yep. Let's see. Another formula. Thanks for that. Wait, can I make my own drops? That'd be cool. I am done talking to you. I stare forward blankly now. Okay, I'm just supposed to rip open a gate and get there, but first, why is there a skeleton man here? And why does he care about hair if he's a skeleton? Why do you have why do you care about having hair in your head and a mustache? You're a skeleton. It's okay to just look like a skeleton. Oh, I'm here to tell you that the Crypt Casino is now open for business. Why don't you come and pay us a visit? We've got a fabulous lineup of exciting games and absolutely spectacular prizes. I'm not going to do all the rattling. We're conveniently located on the Tombstone Trail, so feel free to drop by at any time. I guarantee you, you'll have the time of your death. Okay. Just advertising the casino. I don't think I've been there. Uh, alright. Well, so long. I will use this free spell. To rip a hole in space and time! Oh, no, no. I seem to recall oh, sweet. you telling us the mighty Moonstar was no more, and yet somehow the boy managed the to acquire it. In this game. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadar? What you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the wand that the boy might never wield its power. But I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. Uh -huh. That reminds me, Lord Garrus. Oh. You have used that spell. The one that binds past, present, and future. Surely not. Surely you did not meet with this savior in the past. <laughs> uh -huh. the very thought. What would I stand to gain from such a meeting? Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is a Shadar who has been charged with the boy's disposal. Yeah. Your excellencies, there is no cause for alarm. 
Everything is in hand, I assure you. I am the executor charged with bringing destruction to this world, and I fully intend to fulfill my duties. See, everyone just wants to do a good job. The one she holds is incomplete. Whatever it is their task. Right? Without the power of the three stones, Moonstar is weak. Set against the might of her ones, it is a mere toy. It seems you are quite the expert. They are lost, are they not? They are the lost. From which Looking stars, for stones magic in the world. Correct. The magic stones are lost, but the boy is searching for them now. Of that I have no doubt. And how are we to stop him finding them? When the Wizard King concealed them long ago, he entrusted their care to three nope. fearsome guardians. Nope. I propose that we awaken the keepers of the stones oh. from their slumber. Oh. Does this plan please you, your radiance? Yes, please. It does. Three more Listen to me well, Shadar. The keepers of the stones shall henceforth answer to you. I still am answer to us. Honored. Use your new powers wisely. The Wizard King's most faithful servants are now yours to command. Mm. And we don't want to upset the Wizard King. Yeah, don't mind this. Just a portal from another reality dropping some people off in the world. Go on about your business. Just turns the corner, nopes out like I didn't see anything. I certainly didn't see that. Lady just goes straight home to bed, never wakes up. Um, radio Ollie boy, we need to find Tangry Soulmate then, isn't it? Can you think of anyone who reminds you of a massive flying dragon? Uh, somebody dragon-like? Come on, you know everyone in town, don't you? You can't think of... Oh, wait, nope, she doubled back just to make sure she maybe saw what she saw, or maybe the kids are still there. Nope, alright. I just want to know her internal monologue right now. Uh, if you can't think of who it might be, just ask around. Okay, I can do that. Wee! I think I should go over here and ask around. Like this person. Hello, are you a dragon? Oh, hi, Myrtle. Oh, no, you're not. You're uh, Esther. Hi, Myrtle. Long time no see. Why don't you high five Esther and see what happens? How's it been working for Miss Layla? She's a slave driver! I love it, and I'm getting better all the time. I know the names and prices of everything in the store now, because she quizzes me every 30 minutes. On the dot. Very impressive, young lady. Oh, I'm Swain, by the way. I don't care. Dirty old man. I really don't like to talk about it, but I've made it my business to protect these poor kids here. I want you might call their guardian. I don't know why I'm trying to sound big and tough in front of this ten-year-old girl. Uh... You know she can't hear you, right? What? Yeah, people from this world can't see or hear us. Dumb, dumb. Only Oliver. Because none of this is real. Swain, you don't exist. This is, You're the older brother that Oliver always wanted and all, ultimately doesn't regret not having. Because you're an utter disappointment. This girl is my soulmate, can't you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can now that you mention it. Yeah, man, they look just like each other, right? Except that I think Myrtle is like way younger, or looks younger. They don't act... And not just because she has a different haircut. I mean, like, I feel like she's shorter? I don't know. Oliver, can you hear voices? Nope. Nope. I can't hear them. Plural. Weird. Hey. Want to know what they call me around town these days? Uh, no. People have started calling me the Dairy Fairy. It's a little embarrassing, but I kind of like it. Nito, that's a great Myrtle. I can't believe how much things have changed for you. Yep. I mean, now that they don't call me Starry Mary anymore, yeah, I guess things have changed. I'm now the Dairy Fairy instead of Starry Mary, and I couldn't be more, uh, happy about it. Quite contrary? Oh. Woof. Oh, hello. Are you a dragon? Are you a woofy dragon? Mad Dog on the loose. I feel like I know him from somewhere. Isn't he sweet, though? He's got a little purple collar. No. Hey there, Genghis. Are you out of the town again, sweetie? Hey, this dog, it's... Denny's dog. Denny, who lives next door to me. We're always out walking together. 
Well, I guess you wouldn't, wouldn't really call that walking. As soon as school's out, the two of them go running off together all over town. But I haven't seen Danny lately. Oh, maybe it's Danny. Even though you live next door, that's weird. It is. I always know when he leaves the house. I hear him laughing and hollering. At least I didn't until recently. I mean, he hasn't been going outside. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's like I was. Crikey. You mean now we've cured Starry Mary, we've got a Glary Carry to deal with instead? Typical. Uh, Glary Gary was right there. Glary Gary? Mr. Maybe. Oh, I thought you couldn't flip and hear me. Grrr, arroo. What are you getting so worked up about there, Genghis? I think he wants to tell us something. Huh? Genghis? What could you possibly want? Dumb dumb, you can talk to animals. Oh, yeah. Every single time a situation comes up where I need to use the spell, Oliver's like, gee, if only there was some way I could accomplish this. And all his friends are like, you have a spell book and a wand. You've had it this whole time. In fact, every time we come up with a, an obstacle, you use it to get past the obstacle. Could we? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I need to see if he has any clues. Just say you're going to cast a spell and hurry up. I got to go open the store so I don't have to see this. Okay, nature's tough. Oh, Nahaya, how you doing? What's going on, a little buddy? Well, if you listen to me, have my, oh, my master's in trouble. There we go. Arf, 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 arf. Oh, you're listening now, are you? Sure. Not exactly easy to miss. How come you suddenly started missing? Animals are all sensitive, so they can see other dimensional folk. No wonder dogs bark at quote-unquote nothing. Dog face. That's not an insult, because he's literally a dog. Like, he's dog body as well. Dog butt, dog tail, dog feet, dog inside and out. Uh, okay. Well, you seem so upset. I had to find a way of speaking to you. There's something you want to tell us. Isn't there Genghis, sweetie? Garur, sweetie. Sorry, I meant Mr. Genghis, sir. Stupid humans. Anyway, I'll tell you again. My master Denny is the greatest athlete this town has ever seen, and I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. You can call me Genghis. Nice to meet you. I like that it's, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the titles on his things is Mr. Genghis, sir. In fact, doesn't Genghis kind of look like somebody we know, too? Mr. Genghis. All, uh, yes, I had the same feeling. Who could it be? Who could it be now? Kublai. Oh, okay. How could we not have spotted it? Just look at his expression. Could be old pirate face's head on another body now that I look at it properly. They're sharp right of you, Ollie boy. Talks just like him, too. Kind of rough. It's funny, huh? Over in your world, cowboy keeps dragons, but here he's somebody's pet. Hey, do you think? What, Mom? Spit it out. Tangry soulmate. Could it be Denny? What makes you say that? Does he look like a dragon or something? No, but he's usually dragging his ass across town. Oh, I get it. Kublai and Tengri are proper close. Makes sense that Dengus here would be close with Tengri's soulmate. Sure. But that would mean Kublai's pet in this world is his master in this one. The old switcheroo, eh? Classic stuff. Classic switcheroo. Stop your yapping. Let's go. Yeah, until recently, he was, yeah, he used to go running around. Working on for our dream of making the state championships. Anyway, he didn't make the track team. Nobody ever said life was easy after all. Sure, sure. But he didn't give up. Not my master. He just trained harder than ever. That's the spirit. But then it happened. Maybe he trained too hard. Maybe I didn't look after him well enough. He went out and got hurt. Didn't think it was anything serious. Thought he'd be fine. By the time I noticed, it was too late. So he got hurt. He lost his confidence. He bruised his ego. I was so He was so convinced he'd make the team next time, and then suddenly he was different. Oh, he's brokenhearted. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Gotta help him. You think you can fix him? Fools! He's seen all the best doctors, and they couldn't help. What makes you think you're so special? If the doctor can fix months, his heart see it's broken. We just happen to specialize in mending broken hearts. What becomes of the broken heart and Mr. Genghis, sir, it's time we departed. Let's go. But if you heard him, I'll bury your bones in your back garden. He says the rest running away. Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in him owing us. Did Genghis give you any clues? 
Myrtle, we just had a whole dialogue about how we were wasting time talking. Go back in the shop. Danny's hurt. Oh, that's no, that's a bummer. Did you talk to Genghis? Yeah, yeah, just figured it out. Heart may be broken. Gotta go. Gotta go mend that dude's broken heart. You used magic to heal me, didn't you? Yes. Don't ever do that again. Hey, Oliver, can I come with you? Danny and I were good friends once. And when I couldn't go outside, you helped me so much. Maybe I can help you this time. No, nah, we already got a Myrtle. She does magic. Oh, okay. She's coming with us. She's a nice girl, eh? Of course she is. She's my soulmate. Okay. Off we go, everybody. Let's just cross the street in the middle. Uh, where are we going? Okay. Head down this alleyway with this young girl. Don't worry. Just get in between streets. That's how we do. Just chilling past Motortown Motors. Hello. Oh, spell's still active. Can't take you any further than this. Got it. Oliver and Myrtle got this. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. Sure he's in there? Can't even drag his butt up to open the uh, open the door. Again, you have magic. Have always had magic. Let me call him for you. Danny, are you in there? It's the girl from next door. Oh, open the door immediately. Ooh, it's all stanky. Woof, 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 grr. Woof, 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 grr. Woof, 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 grr. Get back, Myrtle. A nightmare. What are we looking at? Danny! Stay back. Stay back. I'm a feared. Is it gonna be a weird looking dragon? Oh no. Denny's nightmare, the void of confidence. Ah You whack a doodle instant noodle? Okay. I'm not gonna pick you up against this guy. We're just gonna go. Uh well nightmare, let's go with like radiant damage maybe. I'm gonna spin around. Arrow of light. Oof, oof. Crossbite. Oil spill. A dugan! Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Oof. Hadouken! Yeah, take that. No, you don't. Oh, let's leave. That's okay. That's okay. Just waiting at my back there. Nice work. Take that, Nightmare. Woo! Good work. Cargo, excuse me. Good work, everybody. Good work, everybody. Gained a trick shot. <gasps> I have little familiars that can do trick shots. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wolf Arf. Denny. Everything went so dark, so dark. With his heart, I felt it. It was crying out. He was in so much pain, so I punched him in the heart, and I restarted it. Must be the nightmare. 
Yes, Myrtle's super sensitive to it. Seemed like she could hear a bit, didn't it? Maybe she's more sensitive to these things than most. She's part animal! Damn it, it's hard for her to see her so upset I'm not not be able to do anything about it. Why do you care so much for the seemingly younger version of... It's You're all over gross, Swain. Just stop being gross. Stop it. Knock it off. Not as simple as just beating the nightmare, huh? That's the first part. What's he missing? Confidence. Get some from somewhere. Just like what happened to me, so what can I do to help him? Do you have extra confidence, Myrtle? Hey, you, you got confidence from your new job. Give me that. I need to mend your heart. What do you know about my heart? I didn't make the cut. It's that simple. And now with my injury, I don't deserve to run. I mean, if it's an injury to your leg, you probably shouldn't run on it, no. But, like, once you're healed again, get back to it. They'll overtake me. They'll leave me behind. There's nothing you or I can do about it. Oh, Denny. I can't help him right away. Myrtle, I need you to distract him. Can you do that for me? Can you stay with him while I go rip the confidence of an, out of another human soul? Sh sure. Why are you telling me about your plan? What is that about a soul? Don't worry about it, Myrtle. I'll be back real soon. It's all very heroic of you, Ollie boy, but you have any idea where we can find some confidence in a hurry like it just grows on trees? Uh, doesn't matter. Let's just go look at all the places we've been so far. Back in our world, you mean. Why not? There's got to be someone somewhere with more confidence than, than it's good for them. Let's go find some. Bye, Myrtle. Let's go find some confidence. How do I check my thing? My locket. I have... Oh, we don't have access to it yet. Okay, so that's why I'm like, don't I, don't I have some stuff? It's not courage, it's confidence. Got it. Well, time to save. Flightless dragon, the boy with no confidence. Don't know where to go. But we'll check it all. Peace out. Just teleporting to a different dimension right here on this sidewalk. Broad daylight, middle of town. Eh. Did it just put us exactly where we need to be? Oh. Oh, wait. We'll steal some confidence from the sky pirate captain guy. Like this, his dog friend in this world. That should be easy, right? Or maybe make us fight him again. You there. You're way too confident. Give me some of that. Now, let's just double check. I guess. I don't really get the vibe of him and the dog. I guess it's supposed to be the eyebrows. But I wouldn't look at him and immediately go like, Oh yeah, that's his soulmate. 100%. He's wearing a snake on his head. Anyway. Let's have a lot of confidence. Blah, blah, blah. Give me that confidence. This is a weird part of the story. I find. I find it creepy. Give me that. Give it to me. Your confidence. I demand it. It's mine now. The heaven sent strength to believe in oneself. Incendiary. What have you done? What is this feeling? It is not bad. Yeah, that's just the painkillers that we add to the spell. That's just so you don't miss it. Big old hunk of confidence. Fit to burst with confidence. Gotta go! Gotta go! Oh, before we go, take these. They mean nothing to me, but I dare say they might sit well in that magic book of yours. Spells. You're going to give me more spells. Ooh, ooh. Cause the ground to quake. And, sorry. Cause the ground to tremble and bring enemies to their knees. The spell's called quake. Heck yeah. Finally, something that damages more than one person. Mark your map with the location of hidden treasure. Okay. Seek fortune. The pages from the compendium. Thanks. Motorville, here we come. I'm just going to step... Slightly over this way. And, uh, how does this work? Reveals the whereabouts of nearby treasure chests in the great outdoors. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know if that means overworld map or not. 
Also, it's super helpful for going back and finding all the treasure chests that we can now unlock with our extra strong spring lock and stuff. So that makes sense. Bye bye. <laughs> Rematerialize. Hello. We just sort of step out of the alley, run across the street. You didn't have to slow down for Drippy. Wait, if they can't see Drippy, why did the car slow down? I was well on the other side of the road. Drippy would have been crushed under the wheel. I would have been sad briefly, but moved on with my life. Shucks. Tried dumping him off on that island. Couldn't leave him behind in his, ho in his hometown. Can't get him hit by a car. What a drip. All right, you there. Thanks for standing still. Out of the way, glasses! Okay, uh, I gotta restore confidence to this jerk. Jeez. Get the way. Hang on, I'm not done talking to you. Get back here! Did you not see me walk in there? Did you not see me walk into that guy's house? Huh? Answer me! Answer me! Oh, hey there, Oliver. Just my way to pick up my aunt from my auto from the shop. She's been in for a tune-up. Which garage did I use? Oh, the one just down the street from here. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Yeah, you better get you better you better get there double time, you little twerp. Oh, drippy, one of these days. Oh, one of these days, I tell you. Okay. Now you. Let's fix you. Here. I got this chunk of confidence. And it can be yours to the low, low price of whatever you're about to give me for, for giving you this confidence. Let's jam this into your soul. Gotta go in through your urethra. What? Pra! Brace yourself. W what are you doing? What is necessary? Myrtle? Gasp, I can feel it. The pain in his heart. It's disappearing. A woof, says Mr. Genghis, sir. Oh, hello, dog. You are also here. I'm so sorry. I've caused everybody so much trouble. It's not your fault. You were, uh... Oh, so, wait. I think I've seen them running around, and I assume that maybe the dog... No, it didn't seem like the dog was chasing him in, like, a violent way. So I guess that makes sense. My heart feels so light, like a weight has been lifted. You did this, didn't you? You did this to me! What did you do? He did the same for me, Denny. He knows all the spells to make your mind forget about your worries. I'd be surprised hearing that from anyone but you, Myrtle. Wait, no, uh, um... Don't worry, he doesn't actually believe her. A woof. You're right, Genghis. We need to go back to training. But your leg... Your leg is broken. Sh are you sure you should... Shut up, Myrtle! Oh, it was just a scratch. I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself because of that. So what if I only have three toes on the one foot? I can still get along. I can get along just fine. The longer I sit around, the faster the others get. I can't let them beat me. I have to make the cut next time. Gee, that's the Denny I know. Good luck. Thanks, but I won't need it. Luck is for losers. I'm going to train hard. Woof. Luck is for games of chance. Well, no. Like, you're just training, and you can't... control how much or little everyone else is training, so... Maybe you need to be lucky in some regards and uh, stick to a better schedule than your rivals. Is that not? Is there not some element there? Anyway, a fortune of some sort. He's forgotten all about his injury. That's the power of heart. And then it cuts to him, and tears are just streaming down his face because he's in excruciating pain every time he takes a step. But he's so determined, he's gonna walk his foot off into a stump. Thank you so much. It wasn't me, Myrtle. It was Denny all along. His heart was strong enough to make it. I just gave it a helping hand. You really are a hero, aren't you, Oliver? Exclusively. Maybe even a handsome prince. Teehee. You know, that's Swain, actually. If he cleaned up, I guess. Knock it off, Myrtle. Sure hope Denny makes the state championship, huh? How about that, that local professional athlete? Ha ha ha. Sure do. He'll be all right, says Swain. We've sure helped him along. Gotta go back to the store. I'm in the middle of my shift. I just left it wide open. Yeah, I was in the middle of opening up. Door just swinging wide open. Yikes! Wow, she could make the track team for sure. 
Whoa, what a... Just staring down at her like that. That's so creepy, Swain. Yeah. It's so creepy. Like someone else I know. <laughs> Get it. I mean you. You. Esther. Sway, knock it off. All right. And then we scoot to these ways. A scoot, scoot, scoot. And we have to go see the store you're opening? Why didn't we just run with you? I didn't mean to leave the store like that. Where have you been? I was worried about you. It's Esther and the other one. Uh, what's up, P? This little lady's been around an awful lot lady, lately. Does anyone else know that she glows slightly? Is that just me, says the shopkeep? What little lady? Oh, ghosts and fairies can't see each other. Hey there, Oliver. I've been looking for you. Hey, P. P? P's here somewhere? Yeah, the fairy kingdom and the ghost kingdom. Not uh, simpatico. Maybe that's game two. You go to the ghost kingdom. Friend of yours, Oliver? Then I'll leave you to... Whoa. To and get back to work. See you soon. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Uh, thanks, Miss Layla. Have a nice day. All right, back to the store with y'all. Oliver, I have something to tell you. All right, peace. Fill it. The slither one and the doggy one and the bony one, they're coming. Okay. I know two of those three. The keepers, you have to be careful. Oh, I thought you meant, like, the guy with the snake on his head is the Sky King, and then the doggy one was the, the dog dragon we just did, and the guy with the bone on his head is literally the skeleton guy that was trying to advertise the casino. I'm like, all right, the, yeah, yeah, go back to that one spot. The keepers. Okay, the guardians. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, you do. Just be careful. Okay. Fresh tomatoes and union dairies. We got some Pepe Cola. Cherry. Form fresh. Quality meats. Wife insurance. Ring yourself in. That's a, I guess, a marital store. Wife insurance. What are you talking about? I guess. I'm... You don't know about P yet, do you, Swain? She's a funny little girl I know. She might be a ghost or something. We're not quite sure. It's weird. Just roll with it. Gasp, and she Batmans me all the time. I think I get it. Okay, what drippy? He probably can't see us either. Yeah, same with the other way around. Yeah, I already explained that, guys. Yeah, who cares? As long as you see her, Oliver. As long as you hallucinate her, that's what truly matters. Alright, let's go check on Tengri. All that, so I can cast Gateway and get back to the fairy world. Yep, let's go! We back! Hey, hey, hey. I'm exhausted from not doing a lot of running. How does checking out Tengri lead to this guy? Is Tengri not here? The answer is no. Perfect. They're up here, running around, doing great stuff, having a great time. Everything's fine. They certainly didn't fly away. Hello, are they too confident now? You... Okay, come at a good time, boy. You see? Where's Tengri? Oh, story time. That sound. Hi, look how happy. Uh, Looks like Figment. Tengri! Tengri! Sight for sore eyes and no mistake, he stopped sniffling and took to the skies again not long after you left. Hang on, I gotta look up real quick. I just gotta look up Figment. See how crazy I am about this? Eh, I'm a little off, but sure. Anyway. Sorry, just looking at a Disney dragon. There's no way I could share the image or they might 
send their drones after me. They're Mickey drones. Have you seen the Mickey ear drones? Oh, jeez. Terrifying. It, that's not real, but it, it will be, I'm sure. Uh, Sight for sore eyes. He stopped sniveling. Yep, took the skies. Like magic. Wait, did you meddling dogs do something while my back was turned? Yep. A little hard to explain, but we uh, went to another dimension, and we interacted with your soulmate, and then Tengri's soulmate, and then we came back here, and we ripped the confidence out of your soul, and then we went back to the uh, other dimension and put that confidence into your soulmate, who happens to be Tengri's uh, counterpart, and then we came back here and didn't want to explain all that to you. All you need to know is that it worked. Still spouting nonsense, I see, but no matter, you did as you said you would. I'll not question your methods. So lively. This is how dragons should be. Huh, seems she's taken a liking to you after all my hard work. So be it. I know what I'm beating. He's yours. You're his master. I got a dragon! Okay, I didn't get an airship, but I got a dragon. Sweet. Not good enough for you? I mean, I already had a dragon, like a dragoon, in my familiar pack, but this one seems to be one I can ride on. That's settled. Say hello to your master. Kaya, gahaha, nice to meet you too. You know we can just, can we permanently cast Speak with Animal and just talk? Set a southward course. You'll happen upon Solitary Isle soon enough. Kia! Says Tangri. Oh, cool. We've climbed aboard with no saddle. This is great. Peace out! <laughs> We're flying! Oh, Tiny! We're actually flying! <laughs> I'm hogging the collar. Everyone else is like, nice grab a scale, fools. Come on, Tangri. Let's fly. Away we go! Wee. No saddle, huh? That's wild. But like the carrying capacity of the dragon. Oh, cool. Flippin' Nora, is this high enough for you, Ollie boy? Right, oh, since the smallest mistake up here will result, result in certain death, I reckon now's a good time to give you the crash course in flying. Change dragons with left stick. Okay, and use right stick to have a look around. And when you want to plonk yourself down on the ground, hit A. Uh, you'll see a circle appear. Shift it to where you want. Press A again. You'll land. If you change your mind, you can back out with B. Blue's good. Red, red's no good. Once you've had enough being on the boring old ground, honk on that dragon horn, and back they come. Or, oh, so you just press up on the D-pad. Okay. Got me the dragon horn. I hath the dragon horn now. Yes, you fools. Sweeping maneuvers. Burn, burn it all. Okay, now. Where were? Hi. Nothing's gonna uh, load in, huh? Okay, here, for instance. Eh. Do, 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 do. I can land here. So let's do that. Plunk. What's this resource? Two fog drops. Hot diggity dingle dang. Hot dig doogity dig dangle do. The first thing it tells me is that I can't call them from there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> ta ta ta. Ba ba ba. We're going just over here. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba, about four steps. Beep ba boo, about four steps over here. Ba ba ba. Can I get down there? Son of a. You gotta be kidding. Okay, wait, wait. I think we're all right. There we go. That was really funny. This thing. I just saw shiny and wanted to interact with it. Sturdy shin bones. Fantastic. Hey, what's this guy? Look at this big beefy guy. Hello. What are you guys doing? Fight me. Fight me. Oak. Come Hello, on, big you guys. Oak. Oak. Here goes. Whoa, look at that go. I feel like it's going to be vulnerable to magic and not physical attack. Wow, that's got a lot of, a lot of hit points. Oh, man. Oh, 
Yes. This thing's tough. Smack. Have an arrow of light. Not bad. Not bad. Pulse. What do we got? I mean, it knocked him back. I don't know if it did any damage. Arrow of light. Look out! Incredible. Oh. Oh, I get it. Burden? I'm going to reduce your agility. There. Get reduced. Checking my spells. I'm doing okay. Let's try the fire damage. Fireball! Get out of here. That took way too many resources. Wow. That was uh, a lot of experience. Thank you there. You got it. Woo. That was intense. Okay. That's the toughest overworld enemy we've encountered so far. What is this guy? Speaking of tough, this guy looks very impressive. So they still run away. This one doesn't look like it's going to run away. You better not. Oh, it's going to run away. Come on now. Triumphant. Oh, a little attack. sniper spitteroo. Got the upper hand. Here goes. Ready? There you go. I can't carry any more Phoenix feathers. Sorry about that. I have entirely too many. Ooh, got a free cake. Mm. Roland can metamorphose. It's time. It's time, everybody. Okay. Yes. Oh, he's still an egg. Have the scrambled egg roll. Okay. Keep going, Roland. You do you. Number of tricks went up by one. Good work. All right, let's do your tricks. Ooh. And... So even. Cacao! Come along, Tengri. Where did I park my ship? It's not, aren't I going to need to know where that is? Does that matter anymore? Now that I can do this? And just fly everywhere? Oh, okay. Tells me the ship is on the main map. That's all I need. This is fun. Let's go wherever. Okay, so. On the shore of this, this is the, the coast I could get to. But there was like other places. Might it, might it be simple as simple as going right up here? Robot peeps that I still need to capture. Oh, come on now. There we go. 
Some jade marbles. Sure. Whatever you say. Is that a little hut? Or is that a rock? Why does that look like a little hut? Right? I'm not going nuts. Go around and see. Up here. Grab some fog drop. Excuse us. Yeah, what is this? What do you do? Some kind of writing on this stone. I wonder what it says. Uh, we don't know yet. So, to be continued, I guess. You want a piece of me? Come get some. Oh, a dinky. It's a tooligan and a dinky. I have a key. I get it. 13 keys. Get a dinky. I mean, tiny mite. Rargh. Rargh. Nice work. Yep. Good work, Roblin. We'll get you a little... Oh! You. Come here, you. Come here, you. Hot cog. It here might be nothing. too advanced, but we'll see. We'll see. Here goes. Oh, Blind. Aw, look at the sad little sound. Listen to its sad little sounds. Sorry, Spatool again. Had to do it. Go get him, Roman. It's okay, Spencer. You'll level up soon. I believe in you. Hmm. I wonder if the other cogs would count. Since they're like a leveled up, they're the second evolution version. I would think so. Still worthy of study, I would hope. Just gonna wait till they turn around so they spook them. Oh, there's so many in the forest here. This looks great. Go, 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 go. Gotcha. So what I'm trying to do is capture that hot cog. We're under attack! Hoping that it'll count toward the uh, familiar research that my side quest is asking about. Focus on this one. Nope. Down it goes. Miss, miss, miss. Poof. Better luck next time! Guess to say. Moon crystal? What does that mean? What do I do with that? Is this something I can do? No. Moon crystal. Where is it? Crystal said it can contain the power of the moon. It gives the pale light that turns its surroundings silver. Alright. Silvery glow. Are you a cog? I think you are. A uh, yes. Hot cog. Summer in the city. Bag of my neck in dirt today. Hot cog! Here's me to put it. Ready? Ready? Get you. 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 Thank you. Thanks, Esther. Thanks for them heals. Blindness begun. Go get him, Roland. You do you. Cog, 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 cog. 
Cog, 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 cog. Let's go. Here goes. Focus yourself on the hot cog. Let's get that bigger boggle. Bigger, bigger boggle. Alright, you're fine. Yeah, take that. Neato! Neato! We did it! Yeah, levels for everybody. Levels. Go get him, Spencer. Can't wait to level Spencer up. Alright, well. I mean, we could go anywhere now. Whee! Airship's cool. So is a dragon. Where are we headed? Overall. We out there to that lonely island. Whee! I mean, I teleport now. And can also fly once I am done teleporting. So I, I don't really know. Oh, I've looked at this one as well. What if I connect them? Another one of these stones. Hey, Ninja, what's going on? Happy to see you back. Okay, another one of these guys. It's got writing on it. And I wonder what it says. Is all we ever get? To the skies! Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that shot. Cha -cha. Majestic into the sun. Cha -cha. Whee. Hi, can we fight? Can I fight you? Big burb? You're a big burb. Can I fight you? Giant burb? Giant burb. Attack! Attack! Chomp. No chomp button. Okay. Whee! If I knew for sure what was available on all these, like, hilltops or whatever, I'd be more inclined to check those out. But, we are driving this plot forward. Let's check out. I've been here before. I know I have. Plunk. It's got like a grave on it. Crikey, look at this monument by here. Yeah, it's right by uh, Fairy Island. Must have to do with the stones. Oh, maybe those other stones are also the stones. What? Show the Nazican chart. You got it. Oh, I see. All right. Go ahead and transcribe this uh, right quick. Why does it look like... Wait. Oh, sorry. Okay. T. A. Taff? Uh-huh. What's this funny writing? Probably tell us where them stones are hidden. Should see if I can decode it for you. Yes, please. The secret that the map in parts lies not without but in its heart. Stones aren't here. Not on the surface map for all the sea. The real location of the stones are lurking somewhere inside the flippin' thing? Okay. Well, no, wait. Do I have to go talk to him, or can I just go, go look at those other stones that I know exist? Wait. What if I just go to that stone that I immediately forget where it is? Oh, it's over here. Okay. 
Yeah, this stone right here. What if I just go, wait, this is the same as that other stuff. Yeah, I got their version of the airship, my very own purple dragon. Yeah, lots of fun. That I don't have a saddle for in any way, and only I get to hang on to the collar and all my friends just have to cling on to the scales at the back. Yeah, it's hilarious. What do you mean you wonder what it says? Ugh, you have a codex now. You have a thing, you have a chart. Flippy literally just translated this writing. And away. That's like the training temple. Is that what that is? Right. There was some new trial. Let's hang on. Let's uh, let's chill here for a second. I could have sworn there was like an invitation to a new set of trials. And if it's trials by combat, no problem. If it's like puzzle solving. Mm, It's some sort of gladiatorial contest, or like a familiar versus familiar battle. Let's check it out. Look at this tiny yeti. Look at all these little friends. Hang on one second. Let's go ahead and save here, get all our resources back. Nice tan lines! Okay, off to Solitary Isle, eventually. What ho! Doesn't look like he has a quest for me. This person does, though. What's up? These are pretty lively these days around here. That's right, I'm holding the most amazing contest in the universe, the Solosium Series. Familiar keepers have come in from all over the world to pit their best BC. Oh, it's Pokemon Coliseum! Let's do it! Uh, speak to Umbuffa for all the boring details. Don't embarrass yourselves. What's up? Well, same series. Here only the strongest familiars fight. The rules are simple. I will explain. Fight familiars. If you win, fight some more. Then fight some more. Uh, rank E, D, C, B, A, S. Six ranks. Uh, probably around like... Uh, uh, I don't know. Like six or seven. Nice to see you, buddy. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah, probably, I'd probably say probably closer to 7 then. It'll give me time to like do stuff in between. People can eat. I don't know, even know how long it's going to take. I just want to you know, see if people are interested in investigating. Aye, aye. Money and prizes. I mean, I'll check it out, I guess. Can't use items. Uh... Three rounds in E. Okay. Sure. Let's try the E round tournament. If you're injured, Umbaba will heal you. Fight with all your might. Okay. We shall. Gorge. So three waves of familiars. Or it's three rounds of whatever. Do I get to meet the trainers? Oh, I do. The Dell Dwellers. Hi. What's going on? Looks like we'll be your first opponents. Don't underestimate just because we're small. Oh, probably just because that this will do like um, familiars from that area type of deal. Okay, here we go. Hi, little cuties. Oh, they got a minor bird. I got a major bird. Oh, maybe I already have one then. Hmm. I'm gonna ray gun these fools. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, I think we got him. Easy. Good work, Ripples. Yeah, just to, well not their kids, they're uh their pets. Like that fighting game you win screen, that's funny. Didn't have to take it so seriously, we're only little, you know. Listen, this is a tournament. Next, we shall do battle against us. Top Babana. You got it. The Babana Bunch. Here's a story of a bunch of merchants that have come all the way from Alma Moon. They're here to hawk Babanas. And I will send them back to their city soon. Babana Bunch. I have a hunch. I'm gonna hook these fools real quick. 
Where's my... What the... Where's my... Uh... Yeah, that's right. It's the Babana Republic. Good work. I swear I just got a spell that's like... Cast Quake. Where's my Quake spell? Or maybe I'm not allowed because it's a... Uh, no, it's a familiar thing. I can do whatever I want. Blamo. Yeah, I can just fight you fight familiars, but I can still just do all the work myself if I so desire. That's pretty funny. Anyway, we'll get him shiny weight. Let's get this fool. Cursed! You have been cursed. Yeah. Just taking my time. Round two. Is that it? Bringing a gun to a magic fight. A wonderful performance. Would you perhaps be interested in doing some promotional work for my Babana stall? No! There's always money in the Babana stand. Seem we are to be your next opponents. Needless to say, the prize money on offer is of little consequence to us, says Mr. Gilderberg. Oh, hey, how's it going? How's your book doing? We should nevertheless accept it should we win. We did not amass our fortune by looking gift horses in the mouth after all. Ahem. Oh, this should be most polite then. Some polite, a uh, polite rumble to end us. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go this guy. Now, if I line this up correctly. Ray gun to come back. Ooh, that's got a big cooldown. <laughs> well, one of them's down. Anyway, smash hit. Sure. Run, 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 little buddy. That's lamp. Second guy's down. You're down to one familiar there, Chief. I say, jolly good rumble that. I love those guys. I like those statues on the out outskirts here. Who's this guy? It's like a happy little tardigrade or something. Rank E! Cleared. What are my fabulous prizes? Jolly good show. Impressive, but how about you come work for us as my bodyguards? I'll double, no triple, your current salary. I'm already a millionaire. You have one ranky. Well done. Here's your prize. Just slaps you in the face. A dragon tusk and 2,000 smackadoos. Good luck. What do I do with the dragon tusk? Is it better than what I have? Horn claw. Ooh, I don't have many uh, uh, horn improvements, I don't think. Maybe. You there. Is this better? I have two of them already. Oh, it is better. Thanks! Oh, you don't have anything? Poor little guy. No wonder you're so sad. Okay. Here you go, you can have this pirate cutlass. I can maybe remind you of home. Oh, I don't have one of those to offer you. I can have one of these. Oh, that's fun. Deflects, deflects damage back onto the attacker. There you go, you can have that. There you go, Spencer. Enjoy. Same with Roland here. Here, you can have that. Uh, you got a Misty Shroud for you. And we got the... Hey, here you go. Some piercing fence. Yeah. Look good, feel good, Roland. Look good, feel good. Okay, that'll do it for now. Wait, oh, I need to give you the dragon tusk. The old dragon tusk! There you are. Thanks! That's enough for now. Oh, I can't save in here. Uh, probably because there's a safe spot right here. Refresh! Excellent, excellent hands line, sir. I must compliment them every time I see them. So, apparently we have to go talk to... Hang on. <laughs> That's a great design. What a cute little Yeti. Okay. Let's go find uh, 
we have to go talk to the Sky Pirate again before we can investigate the stones that we just translated, which doesn't make sense to me, but gotta obey the rules of the story. <laughs> yeah, I like that he got tired. <laughs> it seems like he got tired halfway up the stairs, like, oh, jeez. Still running. I'm still on this map. And away, Tengri! Kakwa! As we saw triumphantly. Climb aboard our dragon and we'll sail into the sky. I like to imagine that he just snatched one of those birds out of the air to feed themselves. Cha cha! And indeed, a cha cha! We're gonna get back to the skull place. Wee! Set her down. Blunk. Some chonky monsters on the cliffs around the Trials Temple. Yeah, I noticed them, like, before, and being unable to get to those sort of upper areas. And now that we have that dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely considering doing a sort of a flyby, perhaps off-air. Just to sort of check out what's going on. Alright, another quick save. I just cause. Thanks. Well, we went and checked out the island, and now we're back, and then we'll go do something else, and then we'll come back. It's okay to just admit that you're lonely, Sky Pirate. Kubla. Oh, their name is Kublai here, right? And then their counterpart is named Genghis. So they are joined by a Khan, I guess. Kublai and Genghis. gra ha 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 Tell me, boy. Did you find those magic stones? No, but we found a clue as to their whereabouts. Not exactly. We did find a big old monument, though. It was... Shut up! Drippy needs to cut you off. The point is, Mr. King of the Pirates, is that there were no stones there. Not a single one. I reckon you'd better give us another look at that map of yours. Curious. And you searched thoroughly. Thoroughly? We're trying to save the world, mun course we searched flipping thoroughly definitely the right island here ollie boy give the nazca and from that monument thingy another read that'll tell you the secret i bet the secret that the map imparts lies not without but in its heart hold it up to the light heart stuff always has something to do with your magic right should we cast take heart on it or something on a map? Come on now. But it could be something to do with magic, right? Pretty much everything in this world is. Yeah, that tends to be the case when you're involved. Put a good deal of faith in the boy's wizard wizarding. In his wizardly ways. Does he know many spells? One or two. Lots and lots. People just keep giving them to him. <laughs> That's true. Everyone's just like, thanks for completing that task, and wouldn't you know it, I seem to have a few crumpled pages from the spell book. At some point in the past, the spell book was divvied up like candy to the various leaders of these nations, and we're just like, one day, a struggling wizard will come to you <laughs> in your time of need. Reward them for their works, so they may help others. You're not wrong, Esther. We've got a tidy pile of spells now. Edit. I reckon we must have something that'll work. I'm just gonna try every single one. The secret that the map imparts lies not without, but in its heart. Drippy, sh yeah, Drippy should not really be in the adventure, in my opinion. He's the one thing holding this back from being like perfect. It's like, I don't know why, annoying, like, uh, mean spirited, <laughs> like arrogant. I don't know. Just there's so many unlikable things about this guy. And I'm waiting for the likable stuff. Like, he just sits on the sidelines and chastises you if you don't do well. You're not, like, coaching me, Drippy. You suck. Okay, use a spell to reveal the secret of the map. Travel! Let us travel. Merp. Uh, do I mend it, maybe? Breach time. Quick and grow. Rejuvenate. Insight gives the caster an insight into the past of a well-loved object and its owner. Insight. We cast insight. Oh, hit the flipping jackpot because we cast insight. 
Yeah, I saw that. That's it. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually like the bit of sass. Mostly because he tries to take credit for stuff that he doesn't do. I was so happy. I was so happy when we had uh, what looked like the opportunity to leave him behind on his on his fairy island, but he ran back to the ship. Hidden separately, I had my suspicions. There are three stones after all. To hide them in one place seemed foolhardy. Gee, I wonder if they're where the stones are. That I already know that they exist. What made all the marks appear on the map? In sight. Shows you the memories of the people who once owned an object. So it showed you the places that the person who made the map wanted to keep secret? That should not be a direct correlation, but sh I will accept it. Oh, yeah, maybe. Or, like, uh, enlist himself as a familiar would have been not apropos, but it would have been something. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, much like I thought Swain after his arc would be like, all right, now that I've revealed that I'm this former prince, I'll, I'll put on a fresh pair of trousers. But, nah, still dresses like an NPC. Everyone else on the screen looks like they belong as the centerpiece of a story in a role-playing game. Swain looks like every time I would talk to him, he'd say the same line. Welcome to LaGuardia. Nice to see you. Memories just came rushing in. Okay, when it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. Spit it out, man. Let me see. The wand is the weapon of the heart. The stone merely reflects its surface. True power lies in the depths. That's all it said. What the heck's that supposed to mean when it's at home? We'll check it out when we look for the stones. Right back to the stones. Pirate face. What up, lantern nose? Will you give us the lend of the map? We'll be right f it'll be a right faff coming back here all the time to check it the stones are your concern I have no need of the map why don't you copy it or something now that you know where the glowing bits are you'll free up more space for good honest plunder yeah we couldn't use this whole table to put our plunder on because of this single sheet of paper map of the stones map of the stones we'll go map of the stones which just adds marks to our existing map Boy, oh boy. Let's go flying around. It's time to begin the next chapter in the adventures of the intrepid wizard Ollie Boy, the search for the magic stones. Okay, I'm going to try to maybe find one of them, and then that'll be it for the day. As I said, we're only doing about two hours today. Feeding a little... So we're minimizing our time, and I must focus on several things at once and stare at a screen. Uh, side quest? Would you lose? Lost your lucky charm. A gust plume. Don't so much as look up at the clouds without a gust plume to protect us. They keep the wind beneath our wings and the song of the skies in our hearts. Feel naked to the bay without it? Okay. Plunder from beasts known as beachheads, they prowl the seas around these dark parts. No problem. If we can get them to stop running away from us, no problem. It means I think I have to bring the ship here. If it's not already. In Soich of the Stones! Let's go Soichin! Run, 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 run. Running outside, having a good time. Running up the stairs that aren't really stairs. Until he gets tired at the end. Hear ye, hear ye! I now summon Tengri to order. What's the closest one? Uh, this one. We on top of the mountain that's all covered in cold. Hello? Uh, really? Oh, it's probably like inside the mountain. Let's see if we can find something that looks more like an entrance. Uh, ooh, what's this cavey thing? And... Nope, just a fun formation. Oh, that's a fun cave. That's gotta be a way in, right? Let's try that. Oh my gosh! 
Hi! Let's be best friends. Ning to you. You cannot be entering without the permission of the elder of the village of Yule, yes? You do not know where I am speaking? Go simply south, yes? You got it! I agree with everything you're saying. I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. Okay, so... Icy fiends. Let's find this town. I'm not gonna dragon. Cross town. I'll just fight whatever shows up. Oh, cute. Ice Maiden, the Lotus Blubbered. You guys are toast because everything I know is fire based. Well, I mean, it's like the first thing I ever learned. Fire! One to go. And it's done. Alright. Good work, everybody. Lots of luck next time. Mmm, good work, Griggles. Snow radish. Delicious. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Spencer. Oops. I'm gonna put Spencer up front. Because I think he also shoots things. So it'd be like Swain has a shooty friend that shoots things. You've got a friend that does some fun stuff. Do that for a second. Yeah, just for funsies. Okay. Now, where's this town? I feel like I'm headed south. I don't even see a little. <laughs> What's this thing crawling around? Poke it in the butt. Excuse me. Ah, oh, look at them. Fancy your chances, do you? We have the upper hand. I don't even know what this guy does. Here goes. Ready? Line him up. Yep, line him up. Kablam. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. A Sasquatch. A Sasquatch. We got a Sasquatch. We did it. Cute. What's your name gonna be? Congratulations, Roland. Absolutely. Squashy. Hi, Squashy. Yay, welcome to the team. Oh my gosh, they're so big. That's a big boy. Okay. No offense, but I don't really need to level you. Okay, we're gonna start leveling Squashy up. Okay. Welcome to being a viable option. I didn't want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag into this town, wherever the heck it is. Hello? Is it on the same island? Village of Yule. Maybe it's over here. Spin, spin, spin. I don't see anything that looks like a village. Very interesting. Okay, that's the cave. It's like ghost. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and walk myself down here. This one's goes first. What are you? Oh, I love how they're walking around all cold. You got a snowflake! Uh... Carry me! Okay, now drop me. Literally pick me up to put me right back down in the path of the yeah, city. Okay, let's get some. some... Eh. We'll park ourselves in Yule for the day. After a little intro, I'm sure. Aw, oh, adorbs. Home of the snow folk. Yeah, these Yeti look fantastic. This place is amazing. The lights coming from through the snow, it's beautiful. Look at the big fluffy things. I've never seen them before. What are they? They're called Tomtes. You only get them by here in the winter isles. Everywhere else is too warm for them. Swain and Drippy are freezing. 
They're so cute. Can we talk about this inside? I can feel my blood turning to ice. Oh, they're all chilly. Burr, we're all cold. Everybody chilly, everybody chilly. I don't leave footprints. I don't leave footprints. Everybody chilly. This is an inn, right? Am I doing this right? This is an inn. Yeah, she was less tired, plus she's worse, uh, uh, used to desert climbs. You'd think she'd be in agony. Sleep gone, and whatever is free for me in this. Yeah, a little cheeseburger that's been sitting out. Delicious. Hi, I'd like to spend the night in your fine establishment. 240 gold! Robbery. Uh, it's fine. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I kind of found those two places already, but... Appreciate you. Yes, please. In search of the stones, into the glittering grotto! A lovely sleep. That is where we're going to park it for the day. And that is going to do it for me. One second. Step back out of this, get myself. Uh, that ain't right. That ain't right, I tells ya. There we go. Step back over here, drop out of studio mode. There, that is gonna do it for me today. And I would like to thank everybody for watching. Nice to see SSD Ninja. Ooh, as I take a big yawning stretch. Ah, so does Drippy. Ah, and if you find yourself in possession of a plethora of positive energy, please share it if you can spare it. Don't forget about your old pal, the silent G, Rad Nerly, that's me. Saying so long for now, but back on the air tomorrow afternoon, that's Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Rob Ort and I are back into the uh, monster hunting game. Man, I have not tired one iota of uh, getting together with my oldest pal and uh, hunting down big critters to improve our gear and armor. Still having a blast, uh, working our way through the five-star uh, path on our way to, I think, seven is sort of the, uh, the cutoff before we uh, get into expansion pack territory. We'll, uh, we'll have a discussion about that, I'm sure. Tomorrow at 2 p.m., uh, Monster Hunter with Rob. Until such time, that's all from me. So ta-ta for now, and uh, thanks for hanging. So long. <laughs>